Hey guys, welcome to day 23 of Retraining Our Brain. I'm Sarah, and I'm excited to dig into God's Word with you this week to learn about humility. Humility, um, I'm going to be honest. It's a word that, um, that I've looked up in the dictionary. I've been searching God's Word to see what He has to say about it. At first I thought, man, am I humble? God, tell me, am I humble? What does that even mean? And so we're going to be looking at that this week. Um, if you're wondering what the dictionary has to say about humility, this is what it says. It says that humility is a modest or low view of one's own importance. I'm sure that you guys all have one friend or a family member or a coworker or um, just somebody that you know that's always boasting or bragging about what they have, um, maybe about their kids, maybe about their job, about their car, about their house. And, and you look at that person and you think to yourself, that is the opposite of humility. That person needs some humility. Well, I'm going to be honest. As you start to search inside of you, as you start to look at your brain and pray and get into your heart, I think that you're going to find, because I know that I found, that all of us have pride. All of us have a little bit of arrogance. Even if we don't verbally say it, there's something in us that thinks that we're better than what we are. And so we're going to really dig into God's Word this week, and I am so excited about it. If you have a Bible, I want you to look this passage up, because this is something that over the um, last couple days that I've really been meditating on. What is humility? God, teach me. And if you want to know what something is and you want to be taught God's Word, you have to go to it. So I want to encourage you to open your Bible. We're going to be in Philippians chapter 2, and we're going to start at verse 3. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility, consider others better than yourselves. In humility, consider others better than yourselves. Verse 4, each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Then, verse 5. Okay, so, so he's, he's kind of, Paul has given us, given us a description of what humility is. But then he goes on to teach us from Jesus' life. Jesus is our ultimate ex example of how we should live. And so he goes on in verse 5, Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing. Jesus made himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he, Jesus, humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Guys, Jesus' example of him coming to earth, serving, if you read about Jesus' life in the New Testament, you will see there has never been anyone more humble than Jesus himself. He served selflessly, he healed selflessly. He never asked for, for acknowledgement. He never asked to be famous. He came humbly, born in a stable. He died on the cross for each of us. He put others before him in everything that he did. When you read about him washing his disciples' feet, there's never been a better example of what it means to be humble than Jesus himself. And so I want you, I want you to search your heart first. Search your heart and your mind. Ask God, God, what in me do I have pride? Do I have arrogance? Am I selfish? How can I be more humble? How can I put others before myself? How can I look to the interest of others? And then ask him to help you to be more like Jesus, to serve, to love others more like Jesus, mostly to be humble. God, help us to be humble. Let's pray. God, we love you. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the ultimate example that he is of humility. Lord, we pray that you would search our hearts and our minds right now. God, that you would take out anything, anything that is not humble, God. That you would take away the pride, the arrogance. God, we pray that in everything that we do, everything that we say, that we would give glory and honor to you because, God, it is all about you. 
This is all about you. We love you. We praise you. And all God's children said, amen. All right, so I'm excited to talk more about this with you. You're going to hear from some other people too. I really want to encourage you to get into his word. Read about Jesus' life. Look at the ways that he served others selflessly, that he was humble. Meditate on that word. Ask God to convict you of the things in your life that are full of pride and arrogance. So I'm excited to hear about it, and I hope you guys all have a great day.